Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fire Pro Wrestling World. This is... <coughs> Sorry about that. This is MWF and... KPW Joint Production. And I do apologize, there was no uh, go home show this week. I assure you, what I was going to do is a, is a match of champions for each brand. Right, nice uh, Dragon Screw Takedown by Chuck Tyler. We have Riley Bateman in the green, Chuck Tyler in purple, and Bison Shea with the horns. Alright, and uh, stay tuned. We have lots of matches. We have eight matches total on this broadcast. And we're going to do it in two parts. And here we go. And tonight also we will see the debut of two new superstars to the KPW brand. As they will face each other. Casey Evans going one on one with Max Grote. And it's a, later, a little later on in our broadcast here. <coughs> that could, might be the kickoff of part two. Alright, here we go. Nope, never mind. Okay, also later tonight we will have Elgato Loco. Defending his internet title. We we'll also have KPW Tag Team Championship on the line. As we will have the champions Axel and Irvo, better known as the Wizards of Oslo, defending against the Ninjas, Azuma and Bantu. Uh, nope. Chuck Tyler was going to try and move from the top rope, but both men got up. Alright, nice uh, sidewalk slam there by Bison Shea. Now this is Chuck Tyler's contractually obligated rematch. And Bison Shea won a uh, won some series of matches. And that's why he's in this match. June 19th, which was last year's 
Uh, yeah, which was last year's uh, School's Out pay-per-view. Which what we do at Schools Out is we have a fatal four way Schools Out street fight, anything goes. And the winner gets a championship opportunity. A heat blast in August. So either the internet title or the proto night title. And we do that for one for each roster. All right, and there's a nice Death Valley driver to uh, Chuck Tyler. Can Tyler win back his championship? Can Bison Shea become a new champion? Or will Riley Bateman? Break the champion's curse. There we go. Double power bomb. And oh, nice reverse. My fellow driver. Look at a burning hammer. Gut check. Riley Bateman locking in a modified figure four. <coughs> All right, Aaron Chuck Tyler's outside the ring. Oh, light tube is broken right over, right over Riley Bateman. And ladies and gentlemen, the next time we join you for a pay-per-view, it'll be the Beggars Tournament. There's a Michinoku driver, but Chuck Tyler kicked out of that one. There's a dragon sleeper hold. Turned into a body scissors. There's a bait and switch. And an elbow. And there's another elbow. And oh no. Nope. Alright, and shining lizard. Cute Chuck Tyler. But uh Bison Shea came back with a death belly driver. And there's a belly to belly. Oh, there's a leg lock. Right. And yeah, uh, any here that have names very similar to any current wrestlers or celebrities or anything is purely coincidental. Uh, here we go. Nope. Uh, there's a 
Northern Light Suplex, but it was countered by Chuck Tyler. Alright, and Chuck Tyler outside the ring, Death Valley Driver inside the ring. And then, oh, he stopped another DVD. And backdrop. There you go. Power bomb. Bateman was there to kick out. And yes, Bateman's name is uh is a parody. I must admit. Well, he gave him his own personality. We call him a bait and switch as his finisher. Therefore, the name works. Alright, here we go. Northern Lights into an arm bar. <coughs> and Chuck Tyler has won back his glory. Your winner and new. Protonet champion Chuck Tyler. So, ladies and gentlemen, Chuck Tyler has gotten his revenge. Right here tonight. And here it is Cross Arm Breaker. After a Northern Light suplex. Stay tuned, much more to come. Here at April Showers. Alright, here we go. Tag Team Championship on the line. It is the Wizards of Oslo, better known as Axel and Herbal, taking on Azuma and Von Tu, known as the Ninjas. And Azuma is the one in black. And here we go. Axel starting things off with Azuma. And, oh, Azuma slips underneath. There's a poke to the eyes. I'm sure they weren't taught that at the dojo. And oh, there's a fall away slam. And some shoulder thrust there. Alright, and there's the tag to Von 2. Azuma and Von 2 have not been, or have been tagging up since, uh, Probably about a year into their careers. So, it's been a while. Of course, they're very skilled in their strikes. When they can hit them, of course. <laughs> These are awesome April showers logo there and here we go no we see oval on the outside looking to get into this match I'm sure all right and Von to Oh no, he's coming in with a light tube, but <laughs> tag to Axel. Or sorry, tag to Herbal. And there is a tag to Von Two. Or to uh, uh or from Von Two to uh, Azuma. These guys trained together. And they brought that, and then they brought that teaching 
to the Western world. And I said that when they, once they do retire, they would like to teach others how to be ninjas. The way of the ninja. And there you go. One, two, not even a two there. Alright, and it's a nice uh, elbow there. Alright, there's a tag to Von 2. <coughs> Alright, tag to Von 2 and a nice clothesline in the corner there. The tag champs are on a roll here tonight. There's a Lamashi Straw 1, 2, kick out. Nice body slam there. There's a nice strike exchange between both gentlemen there. One, two, no, kick out. Can the champions retain the championship? We will find out tonight. There's a nice leg lock there. But Herbal does not tap. Now this team, oh, there we go. One, two, no, kick out. Now Axel and Herbal have won the championship from My Bloody Xmas, team of Super Tiny and Crimson Killer. Who said their goal was to hold the tag team title at Christmas time, and they did not do that. <laughs> but they did hold it for a while. Running power bomb. One, two, three. No kick out. Almost had a total retention there. All right, and the spine buster and a sharp shooter. All right, we do not have a tap yet, just yet. And another Oslo bomb. One, two, no kick out. One, two, three, no, another kick out. This time by Azuma. Lots of near falls here, but mainly for the champions. Alright, we go another Oslo bomb. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, the tag team championships do not move, they stay around the waist. Of the Wizards of Oslo. They, of course, are our first Norwegian champions. And they are from Norway. <coughs> there we go. 
Your winners are the Wizards of Oslo, Axel and Erbel. <coughs> Alright, here we go. Next match is the MWF. Uh, debut of Insano. And he has been he has been in uh, Aftershock Wrestling since 2004 until they closed their doors in 2013 and then split into KPW and MWF respectively. He was signed to M uh, to KPW for the last four years, and now he's making his debut for MWF. decided to become a free agent and he says that one day he will make a decision All right. Looks loud. Definitely had a measure of control for a while there, but Insano is grabbing it back. Now Insano started his career. Known as Sean Wright. He's part of a tag team called Right and Wrong. He is a former tag team champion, actually. And then things started to go south after the after Right and Wrong were no longer champions, and yeah, you know, when they broke off, he went a little mental. <laughs> So he was taken to an to an asylum, and then once he was released, he be he was insano. One, two. <coughs> One, two, three. No, kick out. All right. So insano. One, two. No, kick out. Insano looks to carve his own path with MWF. And this is his debut match for the roster here tonight. And he also looks to become MWF champion sometime in the near future. <coughs> Alright, here we go. No. And ladies and gentlemen, this coming uh, Thursday on MWF Miracle and this coming Friday on Kickass, we will see the first two matches. Of the Baker's tournament. Alright, Insano is in the ring. Nope, he comes right back out. 
There you see the audience looking on the protoverse, if you will. It was the protoverse this past week. Or, or sorry, not last week. Has uh, just celebrated 14 years. Since its creation, many people have come and gone. Won championships, what have you. There are wrestlers who have been around since 2000. Oh well, not anymore, but there were. But the protoverse itself was created in 2004. <coughs> Alright. There's another look at our awesome logo, April Showers. That's the same font I actually use for my A13 Entertainment uh, logo, the channel logo. Alright, and yeah, all right, Insano is definitely enjoying his time, I'm sure. There's a Scott drop. And Insano taps out, ladies and gentlemen, your winner in the cloud. Hell of a match, hell of a result. And stay tuned this Thursday for the first match of the Beggars Tournament Brackets in round one. Which we'll have round one this week and next week. We'll have round two the week after next. And then the final round will be actually at the Baker's Tournament pay per view on May the 20th. <coughs> so stay tuned for that. Ladies and gentlemen, still got more to come. Up next is a match for the Internet Championship. Alright, here we go. Main event of part one. It is for the Internet Championship. It is El Gato Loco facing off. against seven we're also gonna have miracle championship on the line it'll be Lilith Zubin defending against sister Christine And Sister Christine has already mentioned that this will be her final year. As a member of the prototype, or as a member of the protoverse. 
as she has announced her retirement effective at the 15th anniversary of the protoverse She's been part of the industry since 2003, and yeah, she is retiring. Alright, nice uh, backdrop there by <coughs> Savage Joe. So, ladies and gentlemen, this uh, 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 this uh, Thursday night we will start the Beggars Tournament on MWF Miracle and KPW Kickass, respectively, Thursday and Friday. It'll be, and then round two will be the following Thursday and Friday. Or not round two, sorry. Second part of round one. So round one will take two weeks long to complete. Round two will be one week. And then round three aka the final round will be a one night event and it will be at the beggars tournament pay-per-view <coughs> a championship opportunity at either the MWF championship or the KPW championship one two any time they wish within one year and this one does not have to be announced in advance okay. right, nice uh, back suplex there by or no not back suplex but a counter suplex there by Savage Joe and Joe become champion here tonight. And one, two, three. No, kick out. We almost had a new champion in Savage Joe here tonight. And yes, the Savage Joe name is a parody on Samoa Joe. It's basically a cross between Samoa Joe and Umaga. Two, three. We have a new champion, ladies and gentlemen. His name is Savage Joe. <coughs> Your winner. And the new internet champion, Savage Joe. Alright, uh, I'm sure that Elgato Loco will want his rematch. So stay tuned to see how this plays out. But we have a new champion. A, a, a tornado power bomb. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hell of a match. And that deserved to be in the main event slot. All right, stay tuned. Part two is up next. When both the MWF and KPW titles will be up for grabs as well as 
the 3DW Miracle Championship, the, the 3DW Miracle Championship match will be kicking off part two. Stay tuned. <laughs> 